Welcome, this video is about CapCut version 1.1.0 for Windows PC. What's new? What are the top improvements? What has changed from the currently available version 1.0.5? Has any innovative new functionality been added? Have any bugs been fixed? Let's not waste any time and find out. If you try to download the update from the application itself or from the website, it will not work. Please note that version 1.1.0 beta 2 is currently a closed beta. If you want to try the beta version yourself, the best way is to contact the developer of CapCut, ByteDance itself. Before we look at the interface, let's take a look under the hood. It's noticeable that in version 1.1, the Qt framework has been updated. Qt 6.2 is an LTS version, which stands for long-term service. So here we are in the new version 1.1. The interface has not changed completely of course. Everything still looks very familiar, but some things have been added. Open global settings. Now you can set the frame rate. The big change are the languages, that have been added. CapCut currently supports 7 languages. Let's see how the program looks in German. Unfortunately, this requires a restart. No problem, I have time. Okay, enough of the shenanigans, back to the English interface. The next big thing they added is layouts. You can pull out a part of the user interface and move it around. Use the drop-down menu to bring it to the front. I don't have a second monitor here right now, but I suppose it should be possible to move it to a second screen. Full screen is supported. Fortunately, if you've been playing around with the UI, there's a button to reset it. Here you can turn on the audio level meter. These settings have been moved, I think. Finally, there's an option to take a screenshot. At last. The best feature I found so far is the next one. Zoom support in the player window. Hotkeys are supported, I found out. Let's see how this works. Okay, perfect. In summary, I think a lot of improvements have been added with version 1.1. I am already looking forward to the next update. What is your best new feature? Is there something you are still waiting for? Write it in the comments. 
See you in the next one.